Welcome to the Crypto Sphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you today is Sunday, January 29th at 11.47 p.m. here in Northern California. Had to make this video real quick before I hit the sack because I want to show you what I see happening here with the in the market. First of all, take a look at this Bitcoin chart. Looks pretty bullish, honestly. I mean, got this major breakout on the weekly. That's a huge breakout. Um, and then look what's happened over the last four weeks. We broke above one, two major, major uh, lines of resistance. And then we broke above a third line of resistance. Thought we would come back and test this. Nope, never, never came back to retest the previous level. Exploded through two in the same candle exploded through two lines of resistance and came back and retested it and bounced and so now the next resistance is at at 25,000 are we going to shoot for 25,000 i think not i think not and i'll show you why looking at this weekly chart it just feels like yeah 25,000 is imminent and honestly I mean, it could, it's possible. That's only about uh, 7% from where we are now. So, I mean, we may touch 25,000. We might wick up there, but uh, regardless of whether we do or not, we're gonna get rejected there. And I'll, sh I'll tell you why. This is the Bitcoin daily chart. Now, first of all, just looking at this chart, actually forget about the parabolic SAR. That's something we're looking at in my Patreon group. But if you just take a look at the RSI on the daily and just taking a look at it, comparing it to price on the daily, you've got clear bearish divergence. I mean, take a look. Clearly, you're making lower highs, right? And clearly, you made a string of higher highs here in the price. So the bearish divergence is strong. The RSI is beneath the SMA, and the price is in an ascending narrowing wedge. It's only got a few more days of this. And I mean, if you go up to the very top of the wedge, that takes you to 24,500. Of course, we can always wick above the wedge as well and come up and tap 25,000. But I think this is going to have to break down, guys. I really do. And I think uh, once it does break down, it's about 10%, uh, 10.3%. This will be the first line of, res of uh, support. And if that holds, maybe we break out from there. But if we break beneath that, we're going to keep going. Um... But in addition to seeing the bearish divergence in the RSI, I'm seeing a second divergence here as look at the volume. It's just clearly diminishing, clearly decreasing. The energy's leaving the wine, folks. So it's been fun. It's been a really cool breakout. And it may not be over. I mean, it might bounce here and keep going up. But at the very least, we're going to have to pull back you know, very best case scenario, we tap uh, 25,000 and then pull back. And in actuality, if we throw a Fibonacci retracement on here, the pullback needs to go at least to the 618 retracement and could go. So the retracement could be 618, it could be 0.5, or it could be 0.38. I mean, of course, it could be 0 0.236 too. But I think uh, a nice minimal ret retracement would be to the 0.618. Uh, it's time for the market to pull back. I mean, it's just been too many consecutive green days, I mean, which are good, which are great. But in order for the long-term health of the market, I think we'd, yeah, say we come back and test this line here at around 21,271. What does that put us here? A little bit of, well, I think it puts us back where my line was. Yep. Yeah, so so uh, 
my measured move takes us down to this line here. We've still broken above the major resistance, um, but we got to break 25,000 to make a higher, um, a higher high, and that breaks the whole bear trend. So we're on our way, folks. We still got a little bit of, of work to do, but we're on our way. Don't be discouraged. It might take a minute, but uh, apply some patience and uh, all is well. Thanks so much for watching. If uh, you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already and leave me a comment in the comments below. Remember, this is not financial advice. It's just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. But above everything, make it your aim to sleep in peace every night, wake in joy every morning, walk in love every day. This is Cryptogenic, signing out. Mm -hmm.